right, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're going to be looking at planning. Uh, I'm Griffin Costello. I'm one of the business advisors here at Odoo. Uh, all right, we're going to jump into it. How's everybody's Odoo Connect going so far? Good. All right, rousing approval. Uh, so yeah, planning is one of our new applications. Um, just like all of our other apps, it integrates seamlessly across the board. Uh, everything from your uh, employees to your projects and also to everything else. So uh, agenda for today, introduction, example. Um, one is going to be managing a restaurant. The other is um, you're essentially a consultant, so you're um, kind of doing trainings and then organizing your daily tasks. And then we will conclude with the Q&A. Uh, so kind of features and overview, the short version. Uh, forecast has now become planning. Uh, you can create shifts to manage your tasks. So this is more in the projects app. Uh, assign them to employees, whether it be a specific shift or a project that you're on. Uh, and get a quick overview of your planning, uh, forecasting your daily tasks. So staying organized um, at the high level. Uh, plan your work and work your plan. Uh, it's always important to have this, and as a company, if you're not really staying on top of your shifts, of your tasks, uh, with your employees, you're going to be falling behind, uh, ergo losing productivity. So who can use planning? Uh, everybody. Uh, companies who need to organize a regular schedule, uh, whether this be maintenance for you know, plumbers or uh, contractors going on site to do uh, consulting. Uh, even down to the simplest level of a restaurant, which, as always, is very complicated. Uh, companies that forecast projects on a long-term basis. So this might be a six-month project, a year project, two-year pro two two project. Um, being able to see your actual timelines laid out in front of you is super, super helpful, and that's really going to be uh, key to your success. Uh, really, any company. Uh, schedule management is a basic need in every company. Uh, even at, here at Odoo Connect, we use planning to make sure we're all in the right place at the right time doing what we need to do. Uh, some of the new features in uh, the new planning app, uh, open shifts management, uh, the type of role or department, so you can segment that out and you can uh, filter it down. We'll kind of see that quick workflow going through that. Uh, shift recurrency, template, and duplication. So I set one, one thing up, um, then I can select it a lot faster. Uh, similar in our sales apps, similar in our product forms, where we want templates. Templates make our lives quicker and more efficient. Um, in terms of duplication, if I have a schedule from last week that I need to uh, recreate, uh, done easily with a click of one button. Uh, recurrency, things that happen every month. I have a recurring shift on the first of every month to go see one of my clients. Uh, publish your schedule. So from an employee standpoint, them being able to see the shifts that are available to them and see the shifts that have been assigned to them, whether it's a long-term project or a morning shift at a cafe. Uh, different views, Gantt, List, Calendar. Uh, everybody kind of has their own different take on it. Uh, personally, I like the Gantt view. Some people like the Calendar. Others like that more classic Excel look. So the options are there within Odoo. Um, again, super nice functionality. Uh, pill resizing, drag and drop. So if I have a project that's going to go for longer, I can extend it. Uh, or if I double booked one of my employees or one of my consultants, I can now drag and drop that task to another employee or a different time frame. So it essentially reassigns it right away. Uh, time off and working time integration. So my employees are only allowed to work eight hours a day. They can't work longer than that. Uh, when you set all this up ahead of time, I use the analogy of it's dominoes. You set the first domino up and the rest happens seamlessly and automatically. Kind of the long version of the details. Uh, I'll give everybody kind of a quick second to look this over. We summarized it in the last slide. Um, but again, a lot more detailed in terms of duplication, copy of planning, the previous week with one click, uh, forecasting your schedule across your teams. So let's keep it, uh, let's keep the fun rolling here. Uh, so what we're looking at here, this is kind of an overview of the planning. Uh, again, we're gonna be in our calendar view here, looking at it for the whole course of a month um, in terms of filtering down and narrowing it down to specifics. Um, again, we're in that month. Right now, I've selected all of my employees so I can get a kind of a management level view of what's happening in my company for that month. 
the color coordinating has to do with uh, specific shifts. So you can see bartender's in green, chef is in yellow, waiter is in blue. Uh, same schedule, just kind of a different view here. Again, showing what it looks like. Uh, we have our color coordination. Um, right now you can filter it down, similar in all of our applications. Uh, I always say the top left is the action button. The middle is how you, uh, how you organize Odoo, and the top right is how you view it. Um, love using the filters personally. It keeps me a lot more organized in my workflow, um, and I know I've heard wonderful success using just simple things as a filter. Um, again, right now we're in our Gantt view, and I have a couple filters turned on, or we can turn those on to add even a custom filter if we need. We're looking at it, this is a little bit more of a narrow view. Last one was a month. This is a week view, so I can kind of narrow it down into specific things or even drop down into that day view to see what's going on that actual day. Uh, we'll jump into an example here. Uh, again, we're looking at restaurants right here. This is my blank week. I haven't scheduled anything. Uh, we don't work on Sundays, so I've set my working hours ahead of time. Again, right here, just super easy. Create a task similar to uh, the product form, create a new product, similar to the sales app, create a new quote. When you create one, it's gonna pull up. Uh, what I've done ahead of time is set up the planning templates. So you can see that I now have uh, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. for a chef's shift. Um, I can now select that template and it'll pop, uh, populate that role in there. Um, and I can leave that unassigned or assigned to an, uh, to an employee. Uh, in terms of the start time and the end time, the allocated hours, this is more on a project or consulting time, so I can have a consultant working on two projects at the same time. Uh, again, the planning templates here, super easy, and when you essentially make one click, the automation uh, happens throughout Odoo. It'll populate it in the role, and then I can even set this to repeat. If I know that this is the chef's role, uh, and every single Monday I need him there from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., then I want to set this as a repeatable uh, shift for my employees. Uh, once you go ahead and select those, again, I'm looking at this uh, in the calendar view um, in the week, and you can see that I have all the roles selected. Let's say I have 100 employees, and I only want to see all the servers that I have and what their schedule looks like. I can narrow it down just to stay more organized for myself. From an aesthetic viewpoint, looks really nice and clean to me. Uh, once I've gone ahead and set that, again, our filters and how we organize Odoo, I wanna set that as a management view. So each week when I come in on a Sunday to make my schedule for the week or the month, I'll just click management view, right? I might have a kitchen view or another way to organize it. Uh, similar schedule, again, we're looking at this in a little bit different view. This is the Gantt. Um, what I have here, we have a couple open shifts. I have not assigned these to employees, so when I publish this and they get the email, we'll see what that looks like, uh, they can now assign that to themselves or they can deny it and say, actually, I can't work that week. So super flexible. Um, if you know your schedule ahead of time, then you can automatically assign it to your customers or your, uh, your, your employees. Here's the open shift, and again, you see that it's kind of uh, got the li marked lines on it, uh, indicating that this is not assigned to any of my employees. Once I send that schedule out, uh, they'll get a notification in their email saying, here is your new schedule for the week. So when I now uh, actually assign that to a specific employee for that role, for that afternoon role, excuse me, uh, and I set it to repeat, and we'll give an example of this. And so I have the duration is for one week until the end of the new year. Now looking at that repeated shift throughout the calendar view, you can see that it pulled up the 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. shift, and that I repeated it all the way through the end of the year. So super nice and easy and consistent across the board there. Uh, the filter I have on is specific employees. Uh, undefined, so I want to see all undefined employees. This is an open shift for everybody. And again, there's that repeat that all I had to do is with one click, just click the repeat button and it does that automatically for us. 
if I go on here, I can actually assign that to a specific employee. So by clicking on that open shift, um, I know when it is, I might add a note to it. So when that gets assigned to them, it says, please come a little early or stop by the store and pick up this or here's our project for the day. Uh, maybe a note about the specific client that one of my employees is meeting with if they're in the consultant role. Uh, again, I have it as undefined. Uh, here's the extra information I can add to the employee, and I can edit that and change that to a different employee, different working hours, uh, a lot of functionality there. Uh, so what I've narrowed down here is to look at more of a specific employee, because uh, I want to check what my head chef is doing or what my best consultant is doing. When are they available? Uh, again, I've turned on that filter uh, to employee that contains chef. Uh, this could be, you know, employee, you know, more, number one or, you know, top consultant. Or maybe I want my best sales guy going out to one of our top prospects uh, to make that sale because I know that he closes deals more than anybody else. I need to check his schedule. Um, so this, again, this is the repeated schedule on here, but a lot of functionality, and it's really up to you to decide how you use Odoo. We show you the tools uh, that we have to offer and you choose the tools to build your house. Uh, looking at that repeated schedule uh, over the course of a month, uh, we're still in our Gantt chart view. Again, this is a super simple version of it. Uh, I might have 50 employees, so using those filters to narrow down to my specific uh, role in my company. Uh, again, I'm looking at it from the month and here's that repeated event. Uh, looking at it a little bit more specifically for the week, sorry about that. Uh, what you can see is that I actually have Chef One uh, having two roles. You can see that uh, under the little red indicator here, and this is where Odoo will kind of remind you and stop you and say, hey, you have this person on two shifts. So maybe it's one of my sales guys and they actually have two events that day or two leads coming up. Um, Odoo wants to make sure that you know that and to either change the schedule or have the employee. Um, if I like my schedule for that week and I want to repeat it, I can just copy the previous week so I don't have to go through and create each week. Uh, that's time, all right? Time out of my day is money out of my pocket. Again, there's the shift that is now uh, double booked, so I need to do something about that so I can click on it. Uh, when I click on it, it says other shifts. This employee is already at the same time. So I now need to either reassign it or just cancel this shift outright. Uh, so I can change the, to the employee um, or I can change the role. A lot of different functionality there. So this is the reminder again that you, your employee is double booked. Um, I can now change that employee. And then when I can publish and send it, once I've made those changes, uh, all of my employees in my company or contractors, they will get notified of that. This is the notification that you'll get in your Gmail uh, or whatever email you use. Uh, so this is actually a shift that has been assigned to chef number one. Uh, it's super simple. You can see when, where, what I'm doing. All right, we wanna keep it easy for our employees to know where they need to be. Um, you can add this to a calendar if you want to, so you can have that reminder right there. Again, we're in Gmail. I know when and where I need to be. I'm gonna be at my job and this date at that time. When they click on it for any open shifts, uh, this is what it will look like forward facing to your customers. So I've logged in as, a, uh, as an employee, not necessarily a user, but what I can see is that I have other shifts available to me. So if I have a lot of servers and I want that functionality there, um, let people pick, all right? I, we wanna be flexible as management and understand that people have a lot of things going on in their life. Um, they might you know, have things scheduled out for next month, maybe a wedding, maybe a birthday. Um, if, thing, if you, let's say, one of your employees gets sick, uh, then they can unassign themselves a, um, one of the shifts so that you now get notified and that turns into an open shift that any of your other employees can now pick up at that time. Uh, so here's my shift, again, looking at it from a calendar standpoint. Aesthetically, it looks very pleasing and simple to, the, uh, to, your, to your employees. I can pick up the shift once I assign it. It'll show on my calendar right there. 
and it'll pop up for that day. And I can now see that right there. So if I have two books like I did earlier, um, Odoo wants to make sure that you know this and that your employees know this and they can now unassign themselves from that shift. Uh, they can't reassign it uh, based on the admin rules that you've established for them as an employee, not necessarily as a user. Again, once I have double book there, you can click on it and I can now, from a management standpoint, uh, just take off that employee and that'll be reflected on his or her schedule. So there's the employee, we would delete them from there. I could reassign it to another employee using the drop down. And then once I save it, I can publish and send it or just publish it outright. Those changes will be made right here. And that's kind of the example of the restaurant. Um, more on a long-term project basis, this is for um, like tech coaching, let's call it. Uh, so I have projects that last about 100 hours worth of you know, implementation or consulting or uh, you know, e-learning or training. So these are long-term projects that I need to now, again, I've used that template. These are my working hours for my consultants when they're actually on these projects. There's a specific project. So all of our apps integrate with one another. So when I sold a product, meaning a, uh, a pack of 100 hours to our customer, that triggered an automatic task and an automatic project to be created. From there, I can now link our planning application to that specific task or that project. So within our chatter, I can have cross communication. Uh, being able to now uh, pull out from there in an external link to see what that tech coaching project is all about. Um, again, just keeps us really organized and a great way to visually stay on top of what we need to do. Uh, in terms of allocated hours, I might have employees that, you, that are all working on two projects at the same time. So I don't want 100% of their time dedicated to one project. So I'll say you're gonna work half the day on um, tech coaching on this specific project for level one. And you can see there's a source document under the task. Uh, once you pull up that actual task within there, because again, we've linked all of our apps together. So I now click on my uh, schedule time that pulls me over to the projects app. I click on the projects, I can now start logging all of our time. So this brings in timesheets, HR, payroll, everything that's integrated with Odoo. We've seen this before. Raise your hand if you've used the uh, projects application. One, two, all right, so almost everybody here. We know what this looks like, it's comfortable. All right, this is now just an extra integration with the planning application. So these are open tasks. Again, I've started the timer on this actual project uh, to, so that I can log my time so I, as the employee, can get paid. And at the management level, they know that I've been putting in the time for this project. So start and stop there. I can pause it at any time if I take a lunch break. Again, this is a specific tasks that we're on. Um, you can now log those notes. You can go at the tabs below, description, timesheet, extra info. Uh, you can add you know, a PDF or a screenshot of a conversation, whatever you need to do within the app. Again, there's that time uh, that's gonna log back to my timesheet. So when I click there and my manager sees that I put in you know, two and a half hours on that specific day for that specific project, um, we know that it's a 100-hour project, so we have to keep track of our time accurately. Looking at the project from a long-term standpoint, I mentioned this. Um, you can see that I have two um, kind of coaches assigned to this. I have the green and the blue. Um, I have one project that lasts for about three weeks and the other one that lasts over a month. Um, I can now see where I have in the calendar view, again, for long-term projects, aesthetically, this might be a little bit more appealing to you. We show you the tools, you decide what tools you need to build your house. Looking at it from the month, I might narrow it down for a specific week if I need to. And again, if I need to actually extend this project out, meaning that we missed a day or the deadline got pushed out for something, drag and drop functionality. I can pull that project out, it'll extend hours within it. Uh, and now my, uh, my coach, uh, coach one, knows that he has a little bit more time on this project. 
Um, this is an open project. Uh, we're going to look at it kind of from a different view. Again, I have that shift. Uh, what I've done here is I've allocated half the time for this, for this specific shift uh, for that uh, coach one, because I now, now need them working on two projects simultaneously. So I've selected my employee. I will bring in the specific project that they're going to be working on. And I've now dedicated a certain amount of their time to that project. Once I save and publish it, they'll get notified of it, as we saw before. And you can see here. So we have our shift number one, our coach one working on that project. And we have coach one working on the second project at the same time. There is an overlap. So Odoo says, there is an overlap. Be careful of that. But again, if I need to drag that uh, to move it over, I can drag it within the Gantt view, calendar view, essentially any and all of them. As always, we love Studio, all right? Customizing Odoo is one of, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest strengths of it. So pulling in Studio is kind of a quick example here. What I've done is I've added, uh, again, there's our Studio tool. Uh, I want to display the total row. This is a small, specific example of what's possible. Raise your, or let's get a little clap if you've used Studio before. All right, so we all know Studio. We all like it. We feel comfortable with it. That changes the functionality of Odoo and makes it even stronger. So by bringing in Studio, I've now added the total display row below, and you'll see that because I need to see how many projects are going on. This helps with forecasting going forward. I can see that in mid-November, I am swamped with projects, so I can't take any on right now, so I can't deliver those to my customers. So I don't want to over-promise and under-deliver. I want to under-promise and over-deliver. I want time frames to be accurate. Again, once we go ahead and hit close, we're going to see what that looks like. So again, it looks like in the middle of November, I have three projects going. So I don't want to schedule anything that's going to start around there. I want to start it towards the end of the month. And you can see that at the end of November, I now have one project because one has ended. Again, this is a small version, a kind of a small example of what's possible. And right now in my company, I only have two tech coaches. What if I had 100 tech coaches? What if I had 500 projects going on at the same time? How do I filter that down and stay organized from a management standpoint? Using Studio, using filters, and using the integration with all the apps across the board is how we'd be productive. Again, I can see the main project that runs for the length of it. I have an overlapping project here. And that tells me how many projects I have at one time. Kind of a simple graphical view to look at it. Reporting. Everybody needs to report on their projects. And this is kind of one of the strongest points of Odoo. We have all this data in Odoo. How do we get it out? How do I view it? How do I change the view that I have so I can see more of that data more accurately and pull out the information that I need? Again, using our filters, different graphical views. Uh, right now, I have a filter on. It looks like we are in uh, that kind of classic graph view. So reporting filters, and again, I have a specific way to view it. Top right, how do we view Odoo? Middle, how do I organize it? And now how do I actually do something with it? So I want a specific measurement there. And you can see here, these are the three different shifts that I have for my restaurant. This is the example, it has a little better data in this database here, but the visual element of it, I can see that one of my waiters, Doris, doesn't have a lot of shifts. She hasn't worked that much. So maybe I want to assign her a little bit more. Or I check in with her and say, hey, Doris, you didn't pick up any shifts this month. What's going on? This might be an HR issue. Right? As management, we want to be empathetic and sympathetic to our employees. And we can use data to actually see that. There's been a change to Doris' status and what she's done for my company. Again, just a different way to look at Odoo uh, aesthetically. Some people like graphs. Some people like pie charts. How do you want to use the tools that we are offering for you? Different view, more filters, and again, Odoo's graphs. Uh, what can planning be used on? As always, laptop, smart tablet, or iPhone. Uh, raise your hand if you have an iPhone. Everybody, all right? So all my employees, when they access their email, right, they can open up as my users. If they're users as my consultants, they can now have their shift management right on their phone. 
while they're in their commute. This is convenient. This is easy. This is Odoo. Uh, innovation. You have to be changing as a company if you're not adopting on new things. Um, like software, organized should be frequently refractored. So changing, all right? The internal operations without an external change. Thank you guys very much for watching planning. Griffin Costello, if you have any questions, please find me. Uh, GCO at odoo.com is my trigram and my email address. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of Odoo Connect. Uh, we have a few minutes for questions and answers. Does anybody have any questions about planning? Hi. You mentioned that um, you can see it on uh, the iPhone. Mm -hmm. but do you have an Android also that uh, employees base can see it on? Yes, so any smart, smart device, essentially. We have two questions on the right. Uh, excuse me, is it works for um, a schedule for a doctor? When the doctor, the consultant is uh, half an hour, one hour, or something like that? Mm -hmm. So, again, that's a specific use case. Um, it sounds like you're in the medical industry, so scheduling your doctor's appointments or having your patients being able to interact with them. Uh, if, you schedule, if they schedule something with you, uh, you can now send that notification as, you know, a patient, and they'll get notified of their, you know, their appointment with that doctor. Uh, but for the doctor, he needs to stay organized and know that he has a 30-minute consult consultation coming up you know, this coming Friday. So he needs to be organized that way. So great use case there. Hi, Griffin. I actually have uh, two questions. Mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll be quick. Um, so first, um, are the employees that are, you know, being scheduled for shifts, in your example, the waiters, the chefs, um, it, from an Odoo standpoint, are they portal users or are they full users? And I know because it makes a difference from the licensing standpoint. So good question. The, you can, it's, it's how you differentiate them. So if they are users, they can have access to Odoo. If they're employees, then they would be essentially forward-facing. Uh, it would be the portal. So they would now pull up to your website and be able to access their shifts that way. Okay, so the shifts are available through the portal then for them to view. Yes, okay. so it can, be, Great. it can be both. It's how you want to use the tools. Excellent, thank you. And uh, my second question is, um, are, are the roles um, in any way related related to a specific location? And I actually have a healthcare example too. Um, mm -hmm. Say you have um, nurses in a hospital with in different wings. So mm -hmm. the role of nurse would be the same, but their as location assignment would be different. Is there anything built in at this point um, to differentiate that, or how would you handle it from a implementation standpoint? Yeah, um, right off the bat, I'm not 100% sure, um, just because that there's a couple different ways to do it. One, you could have it as nurse and then a second actual label on that. So it'll be nurse in the West Wing, nurse East Wing. Um, in terms of a specific location, I think that might be similar uh, for an employee where if you, because in the employees, I can set that for their specific location, whether they work in the east wing or the west wing. Uh, now when they go to select a shift, it will know that they are only in the west wing shifts. Um, so a couple different ways to do that. Um, let's talk after and, and we, can, we can work that one out a little bit more. Sure. Um, again, Studio is a great way to add that extra functionality where at first it wasn't there, maybe it's a related field. Um, so you can now start bringing in those extra, extra elements. Great, thank you. But, yeah. Um, sorry if this has actually already been answered, but is this a good target to essentially be able to take like a payroll system, right? Get an import into this and then be able to manage better in finances, maybe per department or analytical tag, um, where the labor is actually going on like a per hour basis? It could be used that way. Um, for, from a accounting standpoint and payroll standpoint, um, it really comes back to those timesheets as to who's doing what, when, where. 
Um, and that's a great way to stay organized is using the planning app uh, linked with the projects tools where I'm on a certain project, again, similar to manufacturing where you have the uh, actual time clock that you can now start to log that time that a employee has been doing work on there. So A, you can see how much does it cost me to pay them. Um, from a high level business standpoint, yeah, I mean, that, that, that is kind of the functionality there. Um, how deep it goes, uh, Odoo's constantly making updates. Um, I know that when we kind of, um, you know, revamp the planning app, then that extra functionality might be there. Uh, similar when we pushed out V13, a lot of new functionality in the existing apps. So we look for our customers and our users to give that feedback. And if that's something that they really want to see, then we hear it enough, then that's something that we want to implement. So thank you for the feedback. And uh, we can pick that up a little bit after this when we end. We have two I'm sorry, more questions. One of the other uh -huh. questions that um, reminded me was, how does it work for those who have like overnight shifts? So if your shifts start from like in healthcare, mm -hmm. nurses is a good example. You could start 11 and end at 7 a.m. So it's 11th on the 8th of November, but your shift ends on the 9th of November. So yeah, so you would, you would set that in the, um, uh, w within the actual either the role template that we looked at um, or the actual working hours on, the, um, on that specific shift. So whether it be a, one day project or a overnight shift uh, or a three month project, uh, you would just simply set that rule ahead of time. So easily doable. Good question, thank you. Um, how does, is this replacing the forecast functionality in projects or how does it play together with it? Um, so it is, I don't want to say it's replacing the forecasting functionality in projects, but um, it's it's adding a ton to it. I have to. Uh -huh. uh, you said that it was compatible with calendars for time off and that sort of thing. You're so for my employees, they yes. can now. Uh, this would be bringing in the leaves app, app that we have. So if I've set that ahead of time and I know that I'm taking two weeks off around Christmas. Um, as the manager, when I go ahead and make that schedule, they won't be available to schedule that, uh, that shift or that project. Um, so again, it's linking the two from what are my working hours or what are my leaves? Uh, when do I have time off? Uh, maybe I have sick days. So it's connecting both of them and you'll get a notification of that. So great question. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. Enjoy the rest of your Odoo.